Nothing to lose, but everything to gain is such a powerful entrepreneurship method to implement right now, especially the situation the world is in. Let's dive deeper on how you can be able to use this strategy. So nothing to lose, but everything to gain, right? Let's talk about what entrepreneurs might be falling into this category. Basically, number one, you have no sales, right? You basically have nothing, completely nothing. Number two, sales are basically stagnant. They're not going anywhere. They're not going up. They're not going down. Maybe they might be slightly going down. Basically, you're not growing. So yeah, you have nothing to lose again. And then number three, basically you are in a situation where that you really are wanting to fight for something bigger and greater. And what you have right now is what you're willing to sacrifice to get there. Once again, nothing to lose, but everything to gain. So it's just kind of like the whole balance equation that's right there and this applies to especially African entrepreneurs who are providing service industries basically service industry what I mean by service industry is basically something that costs you time and not something that's physical right for example I'm selling a phone that phone I, no matter how much time I put it I can't get raw minerals from just my time right you basically are doing something like web development app development um, internet marketing services graphic designing anything where the main core monetary stuff or the main core resource is actually your time and what you want to be able to do is this, right? Go to businesses and tell them you're willing to provide your services for free. Now, you might want to start off by telling them at 50%, but trust me, free, anyone here is free. They're literally, they're literally willing to take it. Now, this is how you want to pitch it instead, right? You don't just say like, oh, free and whatever. You want to make it so valuable. So like, it's a must have thing. They're willing to pay for it, but even if it's free, they want to take it now, right? And this is the whole pitch, right? You want to tell them, number one, businesses that are currently utilizing internet services are are the ones that are thriving. And you wanna use your local examples in, Af in uh, different parts of Africa, like in Nigeria, or maybe in Tanzania, whatever might be happening in your local country, whatever businesses that are thriving right now that are using internet services, use them as the anchor, as the example. And then basically tell them this, look, I understand your business is struggling right now. I am in the same boat, we're also struggling, but we surely are passionate and willing to fight for you right now and provide you our labor and time so that you can win your fight and we can win together. And once you get a position where you can be able to pay us more, we can decide how that contract can move from there. Because this is what's gonna end up happening, guys. If you provide a person a service that's helping their business and you come to the negotiating table, you tell them, so can we talk about the pay? They're gonna be willing to pay, okay? I've been in a similar situation, okay? I'm sure I'm gonna give you a good example, right? When I started off web development, if you go watch my other YouTube channel, my YouTube trailer, I talked about how I used to do website development. The one thing you do not know is I started off doing it for free. Yes, for free. It was costing me like maybe, they pay for domain and hosting and then I do development and design. And I was able to build a portfolio. I went from you know free services to charging $100, $500, until later on I was charging up to $10,000 per contract and minimum contract was like $3,000. Like basically you level up because that free service you provided when you're willing to fight for nothing, when your competitors are charging so much money but you wanna build your portfolio, this is what you need to do. This is the warrior mentality. Now, on the other end, you might be like, well, Steve, I do have something to lose. I do have employees. I do have sales. We are doing well, but we don't want to risk so much to fight for this thing. We're not sure what's happening with COVID-19. We're willing to invest in the market right now. Well, this is what you want to look at from the other perspective, right? It's similar to what I'm going through right now. I've still been getting up at four in the morning. I've still been doing my hustle and I've actually been spending a lot of time brainstorming. How can I tactically handle with what's happening in the world right now as an entrepreneur, especially when I actually finally do have some assets to lose. You want to go back to that warrior mentality, right? You want to get your most elite dollars, shillings, nairas, rands, whatever it might be, you wanna get those and you wanna look at it from the perspective, instead of spending $100,000, 100,000 shillings, whatever it might be, you wanna only spend 5,000 or only 10,000. And you wanna look at that 10,000, it's all you have. You do not have the other 90,000. What basically you're doing here is a military tactic where you're selecting your best soldiers, right? Number one, you, you, your, your capital. When I'm talking about, this is why I'm talking about money and capital. You know what I'm saying? A $10,000 is gonna be better than $100,000. No, 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 no. When you're looking at $10,000, you're gonna treat that $10,000 not just as one shilling or two shillings, but every shilling you're gonna spend, you're gonna make it like it's a hundred shillings. That is what the warrior mentality is. When you're fighting a military tactical war, you wanna make sure your one elite soldier can take on 10 of their soldiers and win. So you have a one to 10 ratio. That is how small startups are able to topple larger businesses. That's how small kingdoms are able to topple 
empires because they use a similar tactic. And when you enter into that warrior state of mind, you're gonna be able to get a little bit of that nothing to lose mentality that you can apply into your business. You can be able to look at how can we tactically navigate with COVID-19, right? And I'll dive deeper on another video about what that really means because that's kind of what I'm applying right now as an entrepreneur in the stage that I am right now as a business because I do my videos based from what I'm experiencing as an entrepreneur. I kind of vlog sometimes about it too. And next week, I'm gonna go diving deeper on that specific topic. Just for now, let's hold that thought for now and we'll talk more about it in the next video. But I really want you guys to tackle in on that nothing to lose mentality, okay? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and powerful and for you to be able to implement as an entrepreneur. If you liked the video, like it, subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification button for more videos as well. Peace to the out and let's get it.